So you might be wondering what the forecast is going to be like if you're having to, you know, maybe catch a shuttle bus or yeah. whatever to get there. And Josh, today seems tame. I don't know how the weekend is looking. Yeah, the weekend, unfortunately, looking to be a little bit more on the wet side mm. or fortunately, either way you look at it. But at least right now, we are starting to see a bit of a drying trend as we take a live look out over the Vancouver waterfront with those clouds racing overhead. Might still be able to pick up on a stray raindrop or two, but of course, this beautiful photo or video, I should say, coming into us thanks to our Hotel Indigo Kirkland Tower camera. 66 degrees, that's where we currently sit at a PDX. You'll notice that we continue to see the dry skies well into the evening hours as those temperatures continue to sit into the low 60s. So much warmer than what we've been seeing over the past several days. And that's all thanks to our latest atmospheric river that's really starting to die down over the Pacific Northwest right now. But you'll notice this next batch of cloud coverage out over the Central Pacific. That's the next flow of moisture taking name at Western Oregon and Washington just in time for the end of this week. And it continues into our weekend as the cloudy skies still remain overhead. And that will be the case for much of the day. We'll see a few sun breaks here and there after we've already managed to fill up our rain gauges quite nicely, almost a tenth of an inch for the Portland area. Aurora a little bit more than that tenth inch mark as well. And over three quarters of an inch for Astoria and Tillamook over that half inch mark as the winds have also been gusty out there nearing 50 miles per hour for parts of the shoreline Salem at 25 mile per hour gusts not seeing anything of considerable notes for Portland but overall we are expecting to see those winds start to calm down still remaining out of the southwest and then out of the south as we move through the early morning hours but more rain is on the way another kind of hit of the atmospheric river is taking name at our region just in time for Friday night that continues into Saturday and likely into Sunday where urban flooding is a possibility for some of us as the rain showers continue to add up. But if you're sensitive to the weather pattern changes and maybe causes you a migraine, we have a mild chance to see that with our migraine meter as we see our secondary storm arrive Friday night. That's all because of the fluctuation of the pressure change that we'll continue to see. So right now the atmospheric river taking a bit of a nosedive into Northern California. That's why we're slowly drying things out. But as we move through the next several days, another kind of push of the moisture returns to Western Oregon and Washington again for the second half of the day on Friday. So we start things off on the drier side before the jet stream starts to take a bit more of a nosedive once again once we roll our way into Sunday and Monday. But that won't mean that the wet weather is done with us just yet. But for this afternoon and evening, still expecting to see just a few of those hit and miss showers, a few breaks in the clouds as well as those winds remain primarily out of the south. For the start of the day tomorrow, again, maybe an isolated raindrop or two, but for the most part on the drier side until we get to the evening, that's where our next batch of the wet weather finds its way into the Pacific Northwest and helps to fill up our rain gauge here over the next several days by Friday, expecting to see a good drink of water and by the end of the weekend, try almost two inches of rain. Now for today, 64 degrees is where we expect to get up to 51 for tonight with patchy fog starting to develop and our seven day forecast does show that the temperatures continue to ride out almost 10 degrees above what's normal for this time of year. And don't forget Saturday night into Sunday. That's where we fall back. If you want to do it right on the dot, it's at two o'clock in the morning on Sunday. Mm. That means we lose an hour of daylight in the evening, but the sun will rise an hour earlier in the mm. morning. Mm -hmm. and we gain an extra hour of sleep that night as well. If yes. you don't have little kids, that is. Well, mine are teenagers. In fact, mine, that will be great for the teenagers. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll just keep sleeping on. Sleep until 1, 2 in the afternoon, no what problem. A what a life they have, <laughs> yes. Okay, we'll be right back. Stick around.